All right, guys, I've been wanting to do something like this all day, and uh, it seems I finally got the opportunity to get outside even in the heat. Man, my ex, the negativity she spreads. I mean, I'd rather be out here in uh, blazing fucking hot weather and uh, doing my shit here rather than at fucking home. I mean, my ex is just... Uh, anyway, in uh, Animal Kingdom, we're in uh, Animal Kingdom workouts. I talk about many great exercises, many great routines. Uh, during my own personal workouts, two of my favorites, although they are all great exercises, are bear crawls and duck waddles. So I've shown you how to do the bear crawl before in all its... And if you notice me, you'll see a lot of different ways you can do it. So we'll just go for time. It's just a sample. I have no goal in mind. We'll see how we do. Okay, so let's start with... There's, so you saw me doing those two things. There's essentially two ways to do the bear crawl. One, you get into the downward dog position. Uh, and I'm going to keep doing this, although I'm talking to you. So this way, right? And then you crawl that way. This way, okay? That doesn't bring the legs into it that much. But if you squat like this and, uh, you know, um, do isometrics and uh, do frog jumps like I just did, then it makes for a hell of a workout, okay? The other way is to keep your, like, first we were like this. The other way is to keep them like this, sort of like a sprinter. That really will tax your legs. You can go slow, you can go quickly. Now, I'm showing you, and obviously you can move around, you can do plenty of other things. These two exercises by themselves are enough to kick your ass, man. Most people would be hard-pressed to do this sort of thing for any more than a couple of minutes at a stretch. Uh, even for me, I'm talking to you. I'm doing this, uh, I originally planned on doing one on pull-up videos, which I'm going to go do them now, probably. But, um, yeah, this sort of thing is tough, man. Bear crawls. Oh, yeah, the sun's out, man. I better get out of there. So bear crawls, you can either be this way, like a sprinter, your knee underneath your chest, or as if you were trying to get into a kick up handstand or you can be like this you can be like this and you can move around you know you can now I could go a fair ways for purposes of this video I guess the way I've got my thing set up I uh, you know it's a lot simpler if I just but even if you just go you know maybe I don't know, like uh, a few paces or whatever, and you keep doing this. So, for example, in China, in the Shaolin monks, they climb down those steps of the mountain, and I know how tough that is. I've done it for hours a day. They do. They don't just climb. They do uh, bear crawls. They do. They do uh, frog jumps. You know. So. The key is to keep going, so if you're okay, let's say you can do just that much. You don't pause for long periods, you keep going. Bear crawls, you can do them slowly or quickly. They'll give you a hell of a workout. The last thing I want to cover before I um, 
is something they call mountain climbers that you could work into your routine. I will do a full web, you know, workout later because uh, I'm really in the mood to get to the hammer grip pull up area before somebody else does. You'd be amazed, you know. So those are done, but and those are great in case like this morning I had no room to do bear crawls. I had no room to do a lot of things I wanted. But that is you start in this position, like in a push up, keep your back straight and just bring one leg up to the elbow. So And you keep going that way. That's another great animal like core workout if you don't have uh, the room to do bear crawls. You can mix them up with bear crawls and uh, you'll get a hell of a workout. That, uh, so I wanted to do that and I'll see you all uh, pretty soon.